second. They shackled Real Madrid to seven third quarter points. Is Matias Lasor going to try a trifecta? Yes, he does. So that is it. We're going to count this one down. As the handshakes come before the final buzzer. Because for the first time since 2011, Panathinaikos returned to the pinnacle of European basketball. The magnificent effort by the Greens, erasing the hurt of their 13-year absence from championship glory. Galvanized by the guidance of that man, coach Argin Ataman, Panathinaikos power their way to their seventh title. They are the kings of the continent and the EuroLeague champions. I, I'm, I'm speechless, Ron. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. It's, this is the, one of the biggest turnarounds in one year that we've seen ever. You felt like Ephes went at him and did it. it was a little bit of a process. This has been just one year and he did it. It's Coach Adam, I mean, I know he didn't get coach of the year this year, but you know, he gets it right now in my book. While well, FS may have been evolution, the transformation at Panathinaikos comparatively revolution from 17th in the regular season standings last year, winning nine of the 34 regular season games. And my goodness, the cellar dwellers have produced a remarkable turnaround, a revamped roster, renewed ambition. I'm, All I'm, brought together by coach Argin Ataman sees them claim their seventh Euro League title. You know what I love about the emotions of this moment? You see guys like Papa Pedro, you see guys like Matoglu, Matias Lasort. They have their hands on their face and they, it's disbelief. They can't even believe it. They believe in themselves. They believed in themselves the entire season. But now they can't believe that they actually won this game. And I guess we have 0 0.9 to go here <laughs> just to finish things off and make sure Matias gets the game ball. Well, there is the final buzzer. And what it means is that Panathinaikos are the Turkish Airlines Euro League champions. Absolute ecstasy. Tears of joy flowing down the faces of the Panathinaikos players because their star studded roster has come together secured by unity, camaraderie, and guided ably by the genius of Argin Ataman from the sidelines. He has made his pre-championship talk tangible. He guaranteed that he would win it. He said there would be a seventh star in the Panathinaikos court and on their jerseys, and he has delivered on his big pre-final four talk. Argin Ataman securing yet another Euro League title. Trust Matteo experiencing defeat at the Final Four for the very first time. Ron, I heard him after they lost playoff game number one. I heard Coach Adaman say that if he didn't make it to the Final Four, he won't be back next year. That's how delicate it was for him, at least in his mind. So there is confirmation of the final scoreline at the conclusion of this incredible championship game. After four quarters of back and forth two-way action, we have a final scoreline of Real Madrid 80, Panathinaikos, Actor Athens 95. And there are your EuroLeague champions for the 2024 season. Panathinaikos, Actor Athens claim title number seven. And Real Madrid throughout this season been the dominant team, been, the, I mean, the defending champions. You can't represent the EuroLeague better as defending champions as Real Madrid did throughout the entire season. The 27 and 7 record, the best ever, the 3 0 sweep in the playoff. But it's that one game in the final four that you lose, and it's over. The whole season is done. The Motorola magic moment comes from the fourth quarter where Kendrick Nunn blew by a comparatively static Gershon Yabuselli, turned on the Jets and took flight to finish with a thunderous one-fisted flush, a punctuation point when Panathinaikos had already secured a double-digit margin of advantage. Kendrick Nunn with a Motorola magic moment in this championship finale. Well, a look inside the numbers, Joe. Panathinaikos edging the battle of the boards and they turning around their shooting percentage 
55% from downtown. The three ball extending Real Madrid's defense and proving to be a reliable zone buster for the Greens. After they went six of 11 in the first half, they turned to the three ball extensively in the second. And again, shooting at a terrific clip from three point territory. I told you at one point during this game that the one thing, the kryptonite for Real Madrid is their ineffectiveness from outside the three point line. If the Panathinaikos was able to extend the defense and frustrate them a little bit outside, they were going to have a chance to win this game. And tonight, Adidas player of the game is the point guard extraordinaire, Costas Lucas, the all-time leader in terms of championship final appearances, leading from the front. A flawless performance from the field. Four out of four from downtown. Two out of two from two-point territory. Eight of nine from the free throw line. Three assists, 24 points in 25 minutes on the floor. Costas Lucas, tonight's Adidas.